stuck in there. So first of all, there's four screws that you use to take this thing apart. These four screws right here are the only screws you want to take apart unless you're doing an adjustment. So we'll loosen those up. Take them out. Once you do that, you can now pull this piece out. So basically you pull that off like that, sit it aside. Then you can slide this out like so. And then this piece comes out like this. So here's our little culprit right here. So I'm gonna get this stuff out of the way. This is stuck. I pull on it, it's a little easier to pull on now. So what we need to do though, is we need to get these two pins here out of there so that we can pull this piece completely out. All right, so what I usually do is I use a rubber band. I usually take this out, take the rubber foot off, and I'll push this in. And if it doesn't stay by itself like this is, I'll put a rubber band around this to keep it in. All right, in this case, we don't really have that problem, but I'm just showing you because normally you'll have to do that. So then you find a punch. This punch is a 1.5 millimeter. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a piece of metal or something that's will let you pound the pin through. So then you just tap it through. There, all right, and then you can, there's your pin, we'll check that in a minute. We wanna take the other one out. So same thing, basically, just, oop, there we go. It's a, being a little stubborn with me today. get the pin out. So now we can take this rubber band off and then we got to get this out. All right so we got to kind of very carefully because you don't want to break it see if you can get it out. There. So see I got it out of there. Looks like it is not broken so we will maybe be able to just clean that up. There's probably a burr right here at the end. Here's the spring that was in there. It looks okay. So basically, we're just going to clean it out and then see what it, see what it does. So, all right. So you're going to take this and take the square end, open this up enough to get it in there. Only use your hand to tighten it. Basically, tighten it up a little bit. Uh, I went the wrong way here. So anyway, once you get it tightened, okay, you can kind of test it out, make sure it spins fairly uh, straight. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take some of this right here, okay, and uh, basically you're just going to spin it. Move back and forth a little bit. And that should take the burr off, okay? Then you just loosen it back up. Okay, then I usually uh, take a lint-free cloth and spray it down, make sure it's clean. Wipe it off real good. Okay, and then while you're doing that, you might as well clean the inside of this, so. Back down here, so basically we're gonna take this clean it while we've got it out too because it could have gotten dirty as well. Just make sure it's real clean. And then you can test to see if what you did. Usually what I usually do is see you can see there's like a uh, few smaller coils in there. I usually stick those so that they're closest to the outside edge. All right, and then we can stick this back in here and basically we can see that it's able to move around freely now. All right, so we've taken that burr off. So now we've got to put it back together. What we're going to do is again Take this rubber band, put it on there like so, and what you want to do is basically uh, see how you have those gaps right here. See, you need that to line up with those holes. That way you can put your pins back down in there. All right, you probably can't see it, but what you'll see is you'll get little grooves on the end of this. I don't think this camera will. Well, maybe, yeah, see that? You can see those are grooves. If it, basically, if you have a, a pin that was used only one time, it'll have grooves only on two sides, and then you can rotate it, but this one looks pretty bad. So then what you want to do is you want to get a brand new pin. Um, basically, same thing. You just want to put it in there and tap it down real gently. Okay. You can test to see if it's going in there. Uh, this one doesn't work as well. Here. Let me tap it with this. All right. 
So that's in there and it's still moving. All right, in this case, I do not have two new ones. So what I'm gonna do is you can again see that there's a worn side, but it's only on one, on one side. So if you stick it so that the worn side is going perpendicular with the, with the groove, then you'll be on a, a non-worn side and it'll actually give you two times use. So that's what we're gonna do with this. Just pound that second one back in there. Okay, make sure it's not sticking out. You know, it's gotta be flush on both sides because it'll cause an issue otherwise. Then you can take this apart, test it. This thing never gets lubricated. That's just a big no-no, it'll throw off timing. But if you've got it working like this, you should be good. All right, so now we just gotta put the thing back together. So put this thing back together as we took it apart. Basically, the first thing you wanna do is take this, okay, and this piece. This little ear here, okay, that sticks out, goes into this little window right here, just like that, okay? Once you got that together, that flips around and fits just like a puzzle, fits right in there like so, okay? So we put it in there like that, okay? Now, next thing you wanna do, take your piece like this, okay? See there's a ball bearing right there, You just or not a ball bearing, but a, a ball bearing set. You just slide that in like so, okay? And the trickiest part is this little thing right here. We call this the Mickey Mouse gear. It kinda looks like a Mickey Mouse gear. Basically you want the ears pointing out away from the head. So this would be wrong. You want to take those and stick them so they're out like that, okay? Then you just kind of set it there and you flip this around and you first put it onto that and then there's some pin holes right here that have to go in. What I usually do is I get it close and then I just kind of tap it and if it worked, basically what you should see is, see how when I move this, it also moves that piece. If that happens, then you've got it back together right, okay? So then basically you just want to put your four screws back together just like so, like so, and I just hand tighten them at first and then anytime I tighten something that's got multiple screws I always just kind of do the whole crisscross just to make sure it's even. So we'll just do, you know, basically snug it, don't want to strip it out, okay, and then we're good. And then you can again just test, it seems to be working good, we're going to put this back in and then we're ready to go from there. There we go. Still working. Now we're ready to go put the head on the, on the machine. All right, a couple things about this head here. Um, if you notice, the pin that goes in here, okay, it has a head, okay? Don't put a pin in there that doesn't have a head because if you do, it may go down too far and then you can't get it back out. But if you do, this hole right here is an air hole. You loosen everything up here and you can basically essentially blow air in here which will blow the pin out unless it's rusted in which could be another issue altogether. So anyway, uh, to put this back on, what you do is you take the pin out, you open this up, and then you basically bring it around. Okay. Now, if, if it doesn't work for you, you can you can actually rotate this this wheel up here, and that'll lift and lower that up and down. But generally, you don't need to. All right. Once you get it on there, you need to slide that up and then close this door into that that little notch right there. Okay. So now that we got that done, I drop my pin in here. All right. There we go. You take your pin. You put it down in there, okay? And you might have to back that up. Want to get that pin in there, okay? Now, now it's not gonna fall off, but what you wanna do first is push this corner here all the way up and then tighten the set screw, okay? What that do does is that, that basically aligns your head to the same spot that it was in before. Then you can tighten this, okay? And then the last thing you do is you basically just tighten this set screw onto that pin so that that pin also doesn't fall out. Uh, so I know I should be using a, uh, <laughs> Crescent wrench, but I couldn't find it right now. So anyway, that's basically it, and you're back on, back ready to go. And as you can see, this thing's working now. So there you go.